If I know Clay, he's already working on a federal court order to get us out of here. I'll see what I can do to slow him down. Let's hope the first missile. See anything on the lock? Scratches on the tumbler. It's been picked. Uh, it doesn't sound very high tech for government spooks. Google glasses still won't let you pass through walls. Interesting. She was a knitter. Well, we brought you here because we couldn't bring CSIU, remember? Oh. Found a needle and a pencil eraser with stained black thread, India ink, and a permanent marker. Ink? What, like for making a tattoo? Well, these are all supplies that could be used to make a homemade tattoo. Natalie's wrist. The ink is consistent with the ink that was used on her tattoo. Frank, you took a picture of it, right? Yeah. I mean, why would Natalie give herself a homemade tattoo? Uh, that's a unique design. Oh, that's weird. What? I don't have any cell service in here. Yeah, me either. I don't have Google. The kids these days are calling it Wi-Fi. Why would a computer engineer genius like Natalie live in a place without cell service? I know 25-year-old I know has an old school phone. Old school? It's cordless. You guys don't have those at home? No. Kids use these. Oh, you people think you're so funny. A 2.4 gigahertz signal would override the router. Check to see if you have cell service and Wi-Fi now. Yeah, it's back up. So, Natalie made a homemade Wi-Fi jammer. She was under surveillance. And what do you do when you're under surveillance? You don't use electronic devices. You go old school. All right, so, what did the feds miss? What's still here that can help us? Pick up dry cleaning, get fruit, go to bank and deposit check. OK, even I direct deposit. Yeah, so does she. I checked her bank records. Why else would you go to the bank? Did you check to see if she was paying for a safe deposit box? Yeah, she wasn't. I'm such a good customer, my gold card gives me one for free. Does she have a credit card through her bank? Yeah. So maybe she had a free safe deposit box. No payment record, you wouldn't be able to trace it. Exactly. Say badges. The scarlet letter. Red means you're about to lose your security clearance. So someone's threatening Natalie and her fiance. Yeah, her mother too. Look at this. Kate Bloomfield out of Washington. Laundry bag from the Logan Convention Center and Hotel. Where Natalie spent three days. What's that? Bloody wash rag. Bodily fluid. It's definitely semen, but it wasn't her fiance, so there's a different blood type. The blood on the washcloth is AB. AB? So the blood is Natalie's. She was grinding her teeth, losing her hair, not eating. What's that sound like to you? Bad blood and semen. Sounds like she was raped. Yeah, the washcloth is from the Logan Convention Center and Hotel. I think she was raped there. If Natalie was raped at a security conference, why not report it? And why save the washcloth? Why not her clothing? Maybe he took her clothes and made her shower in front of him. He was just as careful and efficient at raping her as he was at killing her. Mm -hmm. Rizzoli. What? Where? OK, thanks. Wayman Jane just turned himself in. The boyfriend? To the feds? 